um, so Ma, by the way, how is everybody? You are well? You said Truma or Teruma or Truma. Truma. How you say? It Truma. is Truma. 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 Yeah. Truma. It's not Truma. When you have a Dagesh on the top at the beginning of the word, isn't it make the Shva under the top? Shva Dach? Teruma? Not so? Teruma. Well, the distinction I'm trying to make is between Truma and Teruma. Which is it? They don't think I'm here with No? No? True. True is TR, like trouble. Yeah. And the other one is Teruma, like. Ter, 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 teranimus, terra, ter, terra, 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 is it teruma, teru, teruma, teruma, teru, that's good, yeah, I think that's correct, rather than truma. <laughs> oh. anyway. Anyway. anyway, yes, let's go to the topics, okay, truma, discusses the beginning of the instructions of getting the Mishkan Tov, which is incredible, right? Big, big problem. Big problem is when was this said, right? You remember last night. Is this said at the time that Moshe is up there for the first time after Matan Torah and he knows that this is going to be so? Or... Or he went up to the mountain now. You remember last Parsha, he went up to the mountain, and the others again stayed down, and we talked about them, you know, eating and having the vision and so on. Yeah? So Moshe goes up and he says, 40 days and 40 nights. And then, completely disregarding this Parsha and what is written here, and then we skip in the events of the times, we skip to 40 days later when the Jewish people think that he's already lost and gone and they can't find him and they make the Egil, and then. He comes down and God wants to punish them and he gets forgiveness or at least he gets a stay of execution and he goes down and he breaks the commandments, the, the, the Bukhot, right? And then they have a period of time of mourning and of repentance and then he goes up Yom Kippur and he gets the second Bukhot and then God gives him the commandment of the Mishkan and how to go. Of course, to say that, is a regular problem because it's written here. Mm -hmm. So why, why would you skip, right? Okay, so that's a problem. But let's see, is he going to talk about that? Ah. All right, the first, the first topic is a pretty, uh, pretty much a, an introduction to this parsha. Do you see the introduction? Right. <laughs> I, I, I wrote about this. Ah, so no need to do that. No, I mean, I wrote about, I wrote about this... Uh, introduction. I know what uh, hmm. Yes? I wrote about uh, the idea of... Um, um, I wrote about this thing. So. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. If you don't want to do it, that's fine. I mean, then Mitzvah Miyuchedet, then there's a special mitzvah to do for everybody to participate in making the Aron. Not just uh, Betzalel, not just Moshe, but everyone should have a part in making the Aron, which is the place, in fact, where the Torah was and where the Ezer that he wrote were and so on. So he says that there is a something special, he discusses that, about everybody doing it. Then he says the secret of the Kruvim. Mm -hmm. you remember the Kruvim? Wow. Yeah, yeah. And Some how they are somehow a chariot for the Mishkina to come down, uh, to be uh, down yeah. below. Yeah. Then he says the foundation, the idea of a uh, secret of the shulchan, the table. Mm -hmm. Then, he, that's it. I don't like that, we've got only four topics, five topics today. So, which one fancies you? The Kruvim, the everybody doing the Aron, the, <coughs> the, 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 the shulchan, or in the introduction to the making of the Mishkan in general as a 
place for the Shina among the people. I think I I I write the Kuru maybe. Kuru maybe. Oh the Kuru. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. Fine. I thought you would. If I had to guess I would have said that. Yeah. You are a very holistic man, so very wise man. Because yeah. it's, no, it's because it's kind of mystical and very interesting. It's a it's a problematic one as well, right? I mean, right. to have Krugin as a statue is a is a figure. Yeah. What is a figure doing in the Mishkan? Okay, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. so that's why it's a very perplexing thing. So the psukim that talk about them are the Pasuk twenty one in chapter twenty five. Chapter twenty verse twenty one. And we can uh, go back just a little bit. Go back just a little bit to verse <coughs> number. <coughs> well, first, it really begins in, in verse number ten, that you shall make uh, an aron, a tabernacle, out of wood of shittim, a certain measurement. You make gold on the inside, gold on the outside, and then you put uh, rings to carry the aron with and you put the sticks through them, and you put the gold on the sticks, and the sticks that carry them shall never come out of the Aron, because it's always going to be portable, right, and so on and so on, correct? Okay. And then you will put into the Aron the commandments which I will give you. Which I will give you. Oh, so that already, <coughs> so that already, that would tell you to support the idea that this was given to him as a commandment before he gave him the authority. Finky. Correct? Finatata el haron et ha edut asher etei neileka would suggest that this at least was told to him before one of the commandments that he was given, stones that he would give him, maybe the second ones, but certainly not after the second Matan Torah, right? Before. Natata et el Aaron, the Bible says, you, you don't have it. Natata el Aaron et ha'edut asher etene lecha. That's simple, right? Um, I didn't quite get that. What's your thing? I sh you shall put the stock into the Aaron, the stones which I will give you. It means he has not yet given it to him. Right. Will give you. Right. That's almost very simple. Right. So you could say that this commandment is given before the second Luchot that he's going to give him, but it has to be before the one of the Luchot. Right. Okay. And then, now we're coming to our topic of the Kuvim. We're just digressing. Vasita Kaporet Zahab, you should make a lid, like a, 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 a crown a top to the Aron, Right? And its measurement is given, right? Then you shall make two kubim. You see, yud chet. 18. You see 18? Yes. Right. Can I read that? 18. You shall make a cover of pure gold. No, 18. 18. You shall make two kubim of gold. Hammer out shall you make them. Hammer out shall mm -hmm. you make them. Mm -hmm. From both, both ends of the cover. Yeah, so you have a cover. Here the Aron is standing. You have a cover that sits on top of it. And you shall hammer out uh, from solid gold, um, make uh, the sculpture, bang it together to make two kruvin on the two opposite corners. Here's the cover, right? One here, one here. Diagonal across from each other. Two kruvin. Okay? And go ahead. Um, okay, so I say you 19, shall, 18, 25, 18. You shall make one crew at the end on one side and one crew at the end of the other. Right. From the cover shall you make the crewing at its two ends. At its two, at its two edges, at its two edges, right? So you, it sounds like it might be true that you would have to hammer out the kuvim from the gold that is made in one piece with the cover, yes. like that. Not not that you take the kuvim and you place it on the cover, but you get this out from like, the gold. 
Yeah, it sounds like uh, the. You know, are you seeing stop. the people in China and making some beautiful sculpture, sculpture, from an ice? It's one, one piece of ice. One piece of ice. So sculptures. Yeah. Sculpture. Yeah. Okay. Sculpture. Correct. Correct. Okay. And go ahead. So twenty. Um, the Kirwin shall be with wings spread spread upward, sheltering the cover with their wings, with their face toward one another. Towards one another. Toward the cover shall be the faces of the Kirwin. Yeah, so now you picture them, right? The two Kirwin are the two sides, they have wings, they lift their wings up and over as a shade uh -huh. over the cover, so if there was a light above the cover, they would be shading, covering, hovering over the, standing there, but hovering with their wings over the top. Their face shall be facing each other, the face of the Kuvim will face each other, and to the, to the Kaporet, right, also the face of them, right? Right. Now that's a little bit interesting, right? Because they're facing with each other and they're facing the ka the kapore, the down, the lid as well. Go ahead. Venatata. You shall place the cover on the ark from above and into the ark shall you place the testimonial tablets that I shall give you. That I shall give you. Same he said before, right? You made that wrong for this purpose and now this is what you should do, right? Now, by the way, of course, you cannot put the cover on, and then put the Lukot in. Right, you just read, right. you just read the sentence. Verse. You shall put the cover on the Aron from above, and into the Aron you will put the Edut, which I will give you. Well, it can't be that order, right? Right. Because you cannot put something in when you've already covered it. All right, no, no, you're fine. Ve, go ahead. Ve, no, aditi. And it is there that I will it set It is there my, that I shall... I will set my meetings with you and I shall speak with you from atop the cover, from between the two Kerwin that are on the Ark of the Testimonial Tablets. Everything that I shall command you, you the children of Israel. Right, correct. All that I will command you, I will command you from there. From, there. from, from when I speak to you, I will speak to you from above there. Right, good. Very interesting. No, there's a lot of questions, a lot of interesting things here. Only, right. only, only Moshe is, is listening to, to this, to this, what, oh, when he speaks? When he speaks. Well, that's another topic. So, yeah. Does anybody speak? Anybody here? No, I don't think anybody else hears. Just like, just like if I, not I, but if some shepherd, nomad, you know, Egyptian was walking around at Har Sinai and he was shepherding his flocks with sheep and he would see all these people standing there two million people standing, and they're looking up at the mountain, and he'll say, I wonder what those two million people are doing. Yeah. Right? He would probably wouldn't hear a thing. Because they were, to, to God addresses the person he speaks to, he doesn't speak to mm -hmm. like you and me in the voice, and everybody would then hear something and hear from that. I don't think. <laughs> okay, so now, so the page that we're going to go on this Pasuk 21, is one. where he yes. makes his comment. Right. Tough summer. And into the ark. Are you there? Place yeah. the testimony. Right. Tough summer. El Aroti ten tarot. Into the Aroti. So he say, Lam lo yadati lama nichpal. We 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 just now pointed out that it said this twice. Right. I want you to make an Aron and into the Aron you shall put the tablets that I will give you. That is verse number twenty. No, verse number 16. Right. 16. That's the first one we read. Pinky. Correct? Now he's saying at the end, you shall put the cover on and. Right? And again, he said, tell us then, to put the adut, these, tabber, these tablets into the Aron. Why twice? Shaharei kvar amur venatata el aron adaydut. He already said that's what you should do is put these these tablets into the aron. Why does he repeat? Here's my answer. Here's my answer. Shebal lamed shebe odo aron 
בלא כפורת ייתן תחילה העדות לתוכו ואחר כך ייתן הכפורת עליו. To tell you, now I don't see how the twice tells you that, but it tells you that before you put the cover on, that's when you put the adut oh. into it. Now, first of all, it's obvious because you can't do it otherwise. Mm -hmm. Well, you need to take off the cover to put it in. Yeah. So that would be the difference. Let's say I were to suggest, the pinky is making a suggestion. You make the aron. You make all the pieces of the aron. Should you make the aron, receptacle, and the cover here, and then put the tablets into it, and then put the aron, the cover on top? Or maybe there's something important about first completing the aron. You make the walls, you make the cover, and you put the cover on. Now it is on our own. Now my job is to put the tablets in, I lift up the lid, and I put it in. Right? In other words, there's a difference. Right? Do we consider the complete job first to make it, and then, the, uh, and then, and then you put the tablets into it as the contents of the own? Or, now if I were to tell you that it's important first to put the tablets in, and for the first time, Put the tablets in when you construct it, and then put the arona, and then put the cover on top. That would suggest something much more profound. What does that mean? The aron is nothing without the tablets. The aron is not complete without the tablets, right? So if I say the aron is not complete without gold around the wall, the aron is not complete without being two and a half cubits and one and a half cubits. The aron is not enough until it's a certain height. The aron is not done until you have the kaporet. And then when you put the kaporet on, then it's an aron, right? Now, into the aron, you put candies, you put the other tablets, you put, you put whatever you put into it. You know, you have a closet, it's a finished closet, and you put something into the closet. The, the something is not making the closet. The closet is a closet by itself. Then you put something into it, right? That's very different. That means the, that means the aron has an importance, a status by itself. And then we put something into it. That would be one way. The Ramban is trying to say the Torah is insisting not so, right? The Aron is being made into Aron because the tablets are going to be into it in the making of the Aron. Like a little one? Like a what? A little one inside of the other one? No. No, 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 no. The tablets go in. The tablets go in as it's being made. I, I think it's... That's, like that's Pinky's idea. Said, yes. I mean, because otherwise it's... I mean, what's the big deal? No, no, no. There's got to be a difference why the Torah wants you to, to have to consider it that way. And the Kruvim are, are, are the hammered out of the lid. So they're in one piece. Uh, I don't think that the, that the tablets, the testimony inside, have to support the work. They don't support anything. No, no, no. Support uh, uh, a saying. The making, the noise, the, and the hammer, the, the making building, the, 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 the cover? The co no, the, the cover is made on the floor, on the, on the table. No, no, no. If, if, we say, if we say that, okay, put, uh, we make the, the box and put the, the, the tablets in. inside and later put the cover and work, in, work no, no, on no, the no, cover. No, 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 no. The cover right is here. Here. The cover is made over here. Hammered out with the kuvim. Right, exactly. When they're ready, you cover the aron. That's exactly. nothing to do with this. And the question is: Do you put the aron? Do you put the tablets in before you put the cover on for the first time, or do you put the cover on for the first time and then, when you get the tablets, you lift it off and you put the tablets in? That's the only difference. When do you put the tablets in? Before you cover it for the first time, or after you cover it for the first time? That's all. The difference. I think you have, you have to finish it. That's the thing. You have finished, so you, you have to do the job you have to do. That's put the tablet inside, so you have when? to When? When do you put the tablet after. in? After finishing, yes, after, after covering it? After covering it, because you have to see the, the how, how, 
how it's shaped, how it's built. It's, it's shaped it's perfectly, you know, it's, no. you know it's shaped perfectly. You're right. a genius, you already did it right. You did it with lasers and the laid low and the uh, And everything and is rulers. okay. It's Everything's started. okay. All right. I have not now yet covered time. it. I have not covered it yet. The cover is here and the box is here. What should I do? Put the cover on? Cover on. Now, now what about the tablets? I have an arrow. You have an arrow. Now I have an arrow. And now it's time to put the tablets in. So you take it, it off and put it in. Put it. The Ramban is trying to say that that's especially being emphasized that that is not what you should do. Why not? I was just trying to speculate. Maybe you'll explain that you make the arrow and you have the cover waiting to go on. You bring the tablets and you put them in. Then, for the first time, you take the cover and you put it on. That completes the aron. That makes an aron. Because an aron without the tablets is a box of, it's a box. A box of, of gold and, and wood. That's all it is, right? It's, a, it's plain, it's a material. Mm -hmm. But when you have the tablets in it and then you complete it, you have something holy that is sanctified by the tablets. The tablets is what makes the aron. Not the aron is a place to put the tablets in. Like if I have a trunk, you know, why do right. I have a trunk? I have a trunk in order to put my clothing in. You know what I mean? The trunk is good, right? It's good. And it's made in order to bring something into it. No, no, no. He's saying, he's trying to say that the tablets are the Aron. They make the Aron into something special. Sure. Sure. They honor the Aron. Right? So, I mean, uh, right. the clothing <laughs> makes the man or the man makes the clothing, so to speak. A little bit, yeah? So, anyway, we'll see, we'll see. So he says, Surf Listen, do you see that? Do you see the sentence? It comes to teach you that while the Aaron is without the cover. Are you with me? The beginning of the sentence, second line. No? The very beginning. Mm -hmm. Right. While the Aaron is without the cover, put first the tablets into it, and then he shall put the cover on. Right? I mean, he's obviously talking about the first time because it's obvious any other time there's no way to put the tablets in the cover. Of course, that's stupid, right? But he's talking about the very first time. You put the Aaron tablets in first. The tablets will never come out of this Aaron, by the way. Mm -hmm. That's it. Once they're in, they're in. Right? It's not like my clothing I take in and out. Tablets were never taken out to take a look at. Yeah? Okay? If you want to see later on when the description of the actual construction of the Mishkan is described in Vayikra, in Shmini, or where, where 14, where is it? Uh, yeah, chapter 40. Chapter 40. He says there, it's clear that he first puts the Aron, puts the tablets in, and then he puts the Kaporet on. This is all Rashi so far, that we have just now said. Are you up with us? Yes. Yeah? Okay. V'im haya zereh, zereh, sava'a, mashma'o yoter, sha'achar shi'tein ha'kaporet al'aron, kasher amar yitein baron ta'idut, ki aron yikarei, gam bi yot ha'kaporet al'ad. Right? So he says, what, what was bothering you, right? He says, if this was the commandment, sava'a, let's see this. Where is it? Yeah, yeah. So his, his question is, how could you call it an Aron without the cover? Right? He says, into the Aron you shall put the, the, the tablets. So the Ramban is objecting to what I thought to, to what my understanding of Rashi is. If this was the commandment, it would be appropriate from these psukim to say that you first make the box and you make the cover, and then it becomes an aron, like you said, Eliyahu. And then you put the cover, you put the tablets into it, right? right. So let's continue for a moment. That's his objection, right? No, no, no hinges, just a lift off, right? Yeah. The old kiyesh lishol, and in furthermore, you could ask Gamkein, lama hichzir 
Asher al Arunai, Asher al Aron Haedut. Right? Right? He says, why why would you go to show the, the another question he says, why does the Torah repeat Asher al Arona Edut? Where is that? I shall speak to you, our last sentence, 22. I shall speak to you and meet with you there, right? And I will speak with you from above the cover between the two Kruvim, which are on the Aron Edut. It's called Aron Edut. It's called the, 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 the Ark of the Tablets, right? So he says, why do we repeat that? Ki Kruvim heim al Aron Edut. Everybody knows that the Kruvim are upon that box of the Edut. Umat Zorich Lefaresh Od. Why do we have to call it why do you have to describe it more? Kivan Shamar may Allah kaporet mi beishnayakovim. Once you tell us that you, I God will speak with you between the wings of the kuvim above the kaporet, you know that the kaporet is on the <coughs> ark of the tablets. I'm not sure why that bothers him. Okay, about Perusho, I have a different idea, he says, right? This is what the explanation is. Why the Torah, remember our question in the beginning is, why does the commandment appear twice? You shall put it in, and then you shall put it in, again. Okay? That was the real question. So he says, Perusho, Ki vavur shi yitzhaveh bakruvim liyotam porseik nafayim lamala, since we had described that these two cherubs were going to be made with their wings spread upward, Velo Amar Lamaya Se Klau. And nobody and nobody explained why you make them in the first place. Uma Shamshu Bamishkan and what is their purpose? What is their function in the Mishkan? Velama Yubin Yanze and why should they be in this form? Why should they be like this? <laughs> right. I mean, I don't know that it is explained anywhere about any of the objects why they should it's be not exactly the way they are. But with the Kruvim, it, maybe it's because it's so startling to have a shape of a figure there, I mean, right? I mean, nobody said why, the Torah doesn't say why you should have seven arms on the menorah. I mean, he didn't ask that question there. But anyway, okay, but, but since nobody explained why they're there, Lakach, therefore, Amar, Atah, therefore now he says, V'natata et akaporet al al kruvav. You shall, in Kruvah, you shall put this cover with its Kruvim, with, together. Shakol Gavar Echad, because they are all combined as one. We, well, we talked about that, right? That it's hammered out. Al Aron Milmala, above the Aron above, to, to, to cover the Aron above. Ki, El Haaron, Titen de Tayedut, Asher Tehelacha, Kedeshi Yeli, Kisei Kavod. Because into this Aron, you, sh- you will put the tablets. That it will be this tab, this this ark, will be like my throne. God says, because I will because I'm going to meet you there. And I will allow, I will bestow my uh, presence among them, my shchina among them, the people. And I will speak to you from above this cover. Because the Kruvim are on the tablets' ark, that's why I will speak with you from above them. 
הנה הוא במרכבה אשר ראה יחזקאל. This is like the chariot that יחזקאל uh, saw. שאמר, היא החיה אשר ראיתי, this is the animal that I saw, תחת אלוהי ישראל, below, beneath, God of Israel, בנהר כבר, in the river כבר, you know, that's a river on the way to Babel, ועדה כי קרובים הימה, and I therefore realize that they are קרובים, יחזקאל, this is all part of יחזקאל's uh, prophecy, לכך נקרא יושב הקרובים, therefore we call God He who sits on the Kruvim, who dwells or rests on the Kruvim. Ki hayu porsei knafayim. I'm sorry. When the angels is in the Aram, why is he called Yoshei HaKruvim? Yoshei under the Kruvim. No, it's going to speak to him from above oh, the wings of the Kruvim. No, he is only, the Kuvim are below him. Remember Yechezkel, Yechezkel's prophecy was, I saw a Chaya, Tachat Elohei Yisrael. See that, four lines up, five lines up? Asher ra'a Yechezkel shamar Chaya, asher ra'iti, Tachat Elohei Yisrael, benar gvar, ra'edak hi Kuvim hema, and therefore I knew this Chaya was Kuvim. And therefore he's called, God is called, Yosheva Vakuvim, the one who dwells on Kuvim. And God is speaking to them from above them. Above them? Or above them. From above them. Uh, what do you say here? The Bain Shneir Kuvim, from between them. Well, that's interesting. You, you're pointing out that here he says between and there he says above. Okay? Ki hayu porsek nafayim, because they spread their wings, the whole road, Oh, on top of them. Yes, I know. That's what Tukhazkel said. Correct. And then he says that they spread their wings the upward, and he has a footnote there, Le Kabel to receive the emanation and to teach it from God and to teach that they are an image of the Kruvim that, cover, that carry God's throne above. In other words, there's, these Kruvim below are like the Kruvim above. They're imitating, they're, they're whatever, they're corollary, mm -hmm. a pattern that's parallel to them. Because they'll see these Kruvim carrying the chariot and God sitting on the throne, well, here we have the Kruvim sitting on the, on the Aron and, purse, and pointing their, their wings upward to say that they are like those. Right? And God is just above them. Kemosh and Emar, le tavnit ha-merkava, ha-kruvim zahav le-porsim v'sochachim al-aron b'rit Hashem. 21, Divrei Ayami. Right? When we talk about the Beit HaMikdash, they said that the kruvim Right? That Amerkava Kruvim Zahav, their golden Kruvim that spread and hover on our own Brit Hashem. Kasheri Skarti, like I said. So, so what's the idea for so? so he, is he trying to answer the same question that he had asked before? I think he understands what I mean. He asked the question, why does it say twice? Are now representatives above. Mm -hmm. So, why is he objecting to Rashi? When Rashi was trying to answer a question. He asked the question in the beginning. Why does the Torah say, and you shall put the tablets into the Aron in the beginning, and then say it again, you shall put the, uh, the tablets into the Aron a second time? That is the question. Rashi answered and answered. that it only becomes on our own if you first put the tablets in and then you come. And he says, I don't like that. Let me tell you an explanation. And now he gives us all this business about the Kuvim being a representative of the Kuvim above. Well, all right, who? How does that answer the questions? How is it related to the question? Well, maybe you'll explain something. I don't know. Valdad Rabotenu and our... Sages have said, 
They are figures of humans. These figures, not animals, not lions, not whatever, right? They're all kinds of. If you look at medieval Sefer Torah arcs, they have two lions with wings over the top looking at each other, snarling, right? He says, they're human. Milashon Aramit Shetomar Le Elem Ravi. 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 Right? When you, you talk about a young man, a young person, a young boy, he is called a rabbi. Right? So, cool, cool, cool. like a rabbi. Like. Figures like. What does that mean? That is, for my Lefi Perush Razal Shetibat Kuf, he means rabbi. A chozer, a kaf, midiyot shoresh, he kaf misham meshet. Yeah, in other words, the kaf is like, like. Ke Rabbi. Right? Okay, fine, fine. Um, that's a grammatical thing. Kikain Hashem Kine Arim, the Herod Al Inyana. Like somebody would say, like young people, right? Like about them. The Intachov O, Lama Hayu Panim Isharafi. Why are the two facing each other? Right? So the Torah says these two Kudim have to face each other, face to face. Right? Why? The Lama Ayamik Cheh, why do they have to be hammered out as a solid gold? To Khaladat, you would know, Kira'u Lahem Shiyu Porsek, Knafayim Limayla, Kihen Kisei Elyon. They have to bring their wings upward because they're like the thrones uh, uh, of, of God. The Sokhachim Alaydut, and they hover above the tablets, Shihi Nichtav Elohim, because that's the written by God. Right? God's handwriting. And that is the meaning of the structure of this chariot of God. They, the, these Yechoyikruvim that Yechoyikruvim saw were who carried the chariot of God, right? The, the throne of God. They are the figure the, the image of the Kruvim that we have below, Shem Kavod Vitiferet, which are, again, you have to be a Kabbalist to understand what Kavod Vitiferet is. The Kruvim, Asher Bemishkan, and the Kruvim which are down below, Uba Mikdash, and also in the uh, Beit HaMikdash, Tavmit Lahem. Their form is like them. Their are images of them. Ki Gavoa Me'al Gavoa Shomer Vitruhim Alehem. Higher than the high is the Watcher, the, I think he means God, and Grovim Alehem, and higher ones are even higher, whatever. Vezetam Vaida. Oh, when Yechezkel said, I saw that, he says, and I knew that they were the Grovim. How does he know? Mm-hmm. He knows because he was, he knew the Beit HaMikdash oh. mm-hmm. And he saw the Grovim below, mm-hmm. and he understood that God hovers on top of the Grovim as the Shekinah is dwelling in the house, and he speaks to the people. Now I have a vision. I see an animal and above that is the throne. That animal must be the Kruvim because just like God speaks from above the wings of the Kruvim here, that must be the Kruvim above. And now I understand how, you know, for the first time, Yechezkel understood that the Kruvim that he saw below with God speaking from above the Kruvim must be an image of that above. So he knows what uh, an amazing opening, epiphany. Zetan Vaidan, Shara'a Be'echad, Fiyada Be'echad. He had seen one of them, and now he knows one of them, right? He had seen the one of the Beit HaMikdash. The Ficha Hamar Hema. Therefore he said, they, because he saw a Chaya, one. Remember, he saw a Chaya, one animal. So when he said, and now I know they were Kruvim, he means they, meaning the ones I saw below, and that one also is a Kruvim. Ramaskil Yavin, although I don't know why there, should, there would be only one there, I don't know. Ramaskil Yavin. And other, and, and the ones who are wise, who are discerning, will understand. Which means he's talking to some special people. He's not talking to me. And he says, in the Maskil Yabin. Do you see that last phrase? The student will The learned sir, student will understand. The yeah. Whenever he says that, he means it's extraordinary. It's meant for the special people. He introduced in the beginning of the day sheet, he says, I'm going to write many things in this, uh, my, my commentary on the Bible that I shouldn't write. And I want everybody to know that I'm not explaining things you will not be able to understand. Uh, most of what I write. 
So I, I still do not see quite what, how he got involved with Rashi and why he objected to him. So the purpose, the purpose of the Kirvin was to show us the, the, the throne, the glory of Hashem, how it's related with the, his government. Mm. Is it? What? So, there's a lot of speculation you can't explain why the Caribbean are there, two and four, and why it's split the big wings covered entirely, entirely covered of the, of the, of the box, and what is the purpose, the purpose to be, to understand in our rational way. Actually, it's very interesting. It's very interesting that you asked that question because somewhere the Ramban said that the Mishkan in general was supposed to be similar to Matan Torah in Har Sinai. And one, I saw it written that you remember the Har Sinai, nobody could walk in or onto the mountain, right? So he says the perimeter of the tabernacle also is not for everybody to enter, right? Only for Moshe or Kohan, for Kohan, right? And then he says, Inside there's this aron, which is gold, and there have these wings up. It's like the fire, gold is like fire. It's like the fire that was on top of the mountain. And from the top of the wings of the Kuvim, God says, I shall speak with you. It's like God speaking to Moshe, to Moshe, he says that, right? God like speaking to Moshe from above the mountain, above the fire. You know, he tries to make an imagery of the Mishkan was like to take with them a, a model of the of Har Sinai and Matan Torah with them everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. And of course the, tab, the tablets are there in the Aron, right? Like they were given to Moshe in, the, in Har Sinai. In fact, I think it's in your introduction, the one that you didn't want to learn. I think he there talks about the secret of the Mishkan in general. What's it doing? What are you trying to do? So you want to see it. The yes. tablets, I think, represent to all of us. The tablets inside. Mm. Yeah, 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 that's right. And one of the topics that he said is the only, the only part of the Mishkan that everybody had to participate in doing something with is the Aron. Everyone, all the Jewish citizens had to do something with the Aron. Which is not the other places. The other places, Zara did it with some of the special craftsmen, right? But everybody should do something with the, with the box, right? And, and we, we hope because of it. I said, the Torah belongs to every person, right? It was given to all the people. So when the Aron is made, everybody should participate in the Aron. But the power and power of the I mean, it's here. That means everybody had to do something. I don't know. Uh, uh, so, Mitzvah uh, Pasuk Yud, in Chaf number 10. In other words, there is not... Uh, the name Israel, there is no Aaron, because the name Israel is represented and the palace inside the Aaron. The Aaron yeah. it is not it's without not possible. It's not possible to Aaron. Aaron. Yeah, of course. There is no such possibility of not having a Jewish people in this universe. That's very, very that's not only the Aaron, but also part. But look look at look at number ten, verse ten, it's very short. Tasu Aaron. Yachzor of Me Israel. He said the Asu Aron. Do you notice that Pasuk Yud? Chaf uh, Yud. Uh, verse 10. Do you see it? They shall make an ark. Uh, yeah, they shall make an ark. What do you mean by they? They. They. It says Asu, right? They. On all the other things, it says Asita. You shall make. You meaning single person. Asita benatata. Right? Asita shulchan. Asita this. Asita that. Here it says Asu. Why Asu? Which is plural, right? And it's going to be Malachrechen, the Tzipita Atov. And right after that it says, and you shall, you single person, shall cover it with gold. 
the Atzaktalon, single again. The Kulam Belashon Yachid, all the other things that are asked for Moshe is always in single, singular. Keneged Kol Yisrael, that he's doing it for them. Why here the Asu? Why, right? Why plural? Vitachem, Shir Moshe, Shiyu Kol Yisrael Mishtatvim Basiyat Aharon. All the Jewish people should participate in making this. Ba'avur Shehu Kadosh Mishkani El Mishkanei Elyon. This is the holy place that actually brings the Mishkan, the uh, God's dwelling. The Yisku Kulan Torah, and they will merit through this interaction with the Aaron to the wisdom of the Torah. V'chein Amru Gomer Rashi, but Mipnei Ma Bechol Akayelim Katu V'Asita. Why are all the vessels of the Mishkan? It says V'Asita in the singular form. You shall make. Uba Aaron Kiv Asu Aaron, and here with the Aaron it says plural. Amarabi Huda Barav Shalom, Amarab Kadosh Baruch Hu. Yabohu Hakol Vistasku Ba Aaron. She is Kula Torah. Let all of them come and busy themselves making the Aaron, so that they will merit in the Torah. The Ha'isek She Nadi. You want to know how they will do this, right? Participate. She says She Nadi. Kol Echad Kli Zahab Echad. Everybody should bring some golden piece of something for the Aaron, or Yazor Lebetzale, or help him to actually something, something small. Oh, she kavnu ladavar. What are you saying? Or they have an intention to participate uh, in the in the making of the tabernacle, which is very interesting. In other words, you know, when you have a sacred Torah that's being completed, so people say, come, 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 everybody, comes, finish the Torah, finish the Torah, finish the Torah. Finish the Torah. He wrote it, right? But you give us a letter, you give a piece of a letter, you do something. Right. So to have a connection. Who was the first thing when um, everyone donates a piece of gold and it's being knelt down? To make your own, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Was, for this particular purpose. I mean, they also gave a Turma for the whole Mishkan. But dedicated to that one thing, the small piece of something. Everybody, he says. You're, 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 are you going to have a Marv here? Yes. Uh-huh. Ah. You know, there is a uh, there is a discussion about how to count the 613 mitzvot commandments that we have. How do you count which one? If you look at the Torah and you write and you look at all the things that God says, and you shall do, and you shall do, and you shall do, and you add them up, you'll have a few thousand. Which one is a command? How do you formulate the commandments? So there are different formulations. They have a tradition of 613. Everybody says 613. Can't be thousands. So how do you count 613? Which ones do you leave out? Which ones do you put together? So the Rambam has a few, has a Sefer on his road, the Book of the Commandments, and he has rules and regulations about how you count. What do you count? So he says, for example, with the Mishkan. The Mishkan says you shall make this and this and this and this and this to make a Mishkan. So says that's one mitzvah, to make a mishkan. How do you make a mishkan? Details. Right? So when God says you take a, take a nail and, and bang the hammer, that's not, yeah, you're making a mishkan. So it's not so like different the, details about how to do it. Right? So he doesn't count out all the mitzvah. So the Ramban agrees with him in general. But there's a mitzvah to make a mishkan. But the Ramban says there's one more mitzvah, making the Allah. Because of what he just now said. Apart from making the Mishkan that everybody had to give money to make the Mishkan and that the Jewish people were supposed to make the Mishkan, apart from that, every individual has to do something to make the Aron. That's why he calls it a mitzvah by itself. One mitzvah, Aron, one, another mitzvah to make the Mishkan altogether. How could we do that? Because we could have no Aron. You and me. So that means there are many mitzvahs we cannot do it today. Yeah. We hope there's no way to all of us do all 613. So not only that, we can't do it anyway because a Kohen has a certain mitzvah, and a Yisrael has another mitzvah. A married person has one mitzvah, a single person has another mitzvah. So you said from the a farmer has some mitzvot that a, that a businessman doesn't, a businessman has some mitzvot that a farmer doesn't. Uh, altogether, we all do the 613 mitzvot. 
as, a, as an entire I, people. Okay. I, I think there's a certain way we can do it, least and make the other one, because we have to make the other one. Okay. 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 So then it will be a bit of a problem. So send them to the to the temple in Jews. So, but for the other one, for the other one, I'm giving you Tzaka for the for the Mishkan, but I want this one dollar. I want you to know it's special for the other one. So when David Lehman announces that he's a lady, yes, sir. when he announces it's time to start from making contributions to the Mishkan, he will collect a certain amount for everyone to contribute according to what they want. And in addition to that, he was according to the Rambani, in addition to that, he a little box into which he put the money, I don't know what it says in this box. Mm -hmm. 